What's going on? This is the Dozen Trivia Tournament presented by High Noon Hard Seltzer. Real juice, real vodka, 100 calories, absolutely delicious, and I'm enjoying it as you get ready for this championship trivia match between the four seed, the big screaming honkers, and the seven seed, Cinderella, the misfits. Honkers Nation is alive and rocking from the deep south all the way up through New England as Ben Mintz, Coley Mick, and Robbie Fox have been dominant since Ben's addition back in December. The only team with a bye, the only top four seed to make it here to the championship. Standing in their way though, the undefeated Cinderella Misfits, the seven seed. Riggs, Dante, and Hank are 5-0, and and they've never lost as a team as they look to become the first ever champions of the dozen. It's the Big Screaming Honkers and the Misfits for the chance to win the Dozen Trivia Tournament presented by High Noon, and it all starts right now. Welcome to the Dozen Trivia Tournament Championship Match. I've been waiting to say that the 12th and final match is here. One team. To my right, the big screaming honkers, the four seed, but basically it felt like we had four number one seeds in Dallas. That's where he lives now. He moved there. Fun fact. Uh, Robbie Fox here. Coley Mick. Ben Mintz. This team has been a fan favorite for a few months now. You shot up the rankings and all the way in to the final match. The last team with a bye remaining. All of those teams, the Yak did win a game, and everyone else bounced before this moment. Coley, nerves, I don't think that's a thing you do, but how are you feeling finally with a chance to crown yourself? I mean, this was the goal the whole time when we were designing team logos. Uh, I, I spoke to Nick. Um, Raiders were a very, very clear inspiration. Not the modern Raiders, not Las Vegas. The old Raiders, the Al Davis, the Just Honk Baby Raiders. That's what we're here to do right now in the championship. And I'm excited. I'm happy to be here. We're, we're where we're supposed to be. You've gone through many teammates. Shout out to Glenny Balls. Mm -hmm. Jared Carabas was a teammate at one. You actually replaced Jared with Ben Mintz. Yep. Uh, yep. Positive? Sure Huge positive. I mean, Jared doesn't know his niche category. Ben Mintz <laughs> knows everything because he's lived a thousand lives somewhere. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, everyone you know. Every question, somebody coached at Ole Miss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron, his brother, coach. Yeah. Special teams. Uh, okay, <laughs> other side. This team not expected to be here. Two months ago, this team didn't exist. Wow. Two uh, this weeks team, ago, yeah. this team. Yeah. Didn't yeah. Expansion. <laughs> this team cobbled together last second before the tournament, beat Hank's team, <laughs> then ended up playing. Hank ended up playing another team that you guys beat already. You guys beat the experts. That was a huge. That put you on the map. No, we beat Manan. No, no, Being no. Beating the experts in the regular Dude, season. Uh, Our second. Two and all going into the tournament. Haven't lost since. Five and zero. Oh. Damn. Five and zero. Oh. Riggs and I have never lost. You guys never lost. Best, uh, wow. Have We're never lost. Giant your team. slayers. You join only one other person. There's only one other person that's undefeated in this in the dozen. Who's that? Biz. Billy football. Uh, <laughs> that's true. It's two and zero. Oh. Uh, honest to God. Um, okay. So missed it. <laughs> you got this. Sharp stock control. That'll, you be a, that'll be a trivia question answer. In <laughs> Thank years. you. Yeah. You said you were a little rusty. You not rusty, but you weren't uh, polished last game. It didn't feel like you had your best. Riggs stepped up and played probably his best match, which is saying a lot because I think he's been the best player all tournament, in my professional opinion. Okay. Uh, MVP Hank, voting close. Hank came through in the clutch on a few questions, and uh, yeah, I mean, we got it done. We took out Big Cat and Roan. Close match, but we're all for blood now. At least, you know, Hank is going for their throats now, so Quite I'm excited for tonight. Blood. From beating the villains in round one, though, to facing off against a team that is, I heard, now more popular than most colleges in the South. <laughs> Something uh, like that. Honkers. Yes. Yeah. So, here it is. As always, please, no whispering. This team gets a little quiet. Let's see. Uh, three lifelines. Okay. Double up. You can double up any category. Everyone knows this. Double sip, sponsored by High Noon. You can answer one question two times whenever you like. You can do it once. You can do it during the question. Must say before your first answer. And then the FaceTime or phone a friend. You can phone someone here in the office. They'll come on in. But if they're not here, you got to FaceTime them. The Jeff may do rule. Shout out to the big man on campus. Here we go. For Skell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Skell the new. Correct. Here it is. First category. 12 rounds of trivia. And by the way, when you clinch, it's over. It's time to celebrate. Just a heads up. 
Honkers no, are first no continuing for the fun of it. If you win, it's over. First category is the WNBA. Yes. <laughs> Fuck yes. Started with MLS, ended with WNBA. Here it is. 35 seconds on the clock for the big scream at Honkers. The Utah Stars moved to San Antonio in 2003 and then to what current WNBA city in 2018? Utah Stars have made their way, San Antonio, to what city in 2018? We just need the city? Just need the city. I don't need any. I would assume this is Vegas. I have nothing to add whatsoever. I can yeah. see you were working at I mean, it. Sucks. Bob? I'm good with that. Yeah, we'll go Las Vegas. Final answer? Yeah. That is correct. One nothing honkers. I guess they always have been doing One nothing big screaming honkers. Other side, WNBA. What a curveball. The, <laughs> yeah. The Detroit, sh that Dave stepped in here and I said, first category is major league suck. I got, I got, uh, first game of the tournament, I got called it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. That's right. The Detroit Shock moved to Tulsa in 2010 and then to what WNBA city in 2016? Shock to Tulsa. Now we're there in what city? Just a city. I have. In 2010? 2016. They moved from Tulsa in 2016? 2010. And they moved their current Orlando. city. They moved there in 2016. I have zero idea. Orlando. Vegas was my only guess. A lot of whispering going on. New Orleans has a team now, I believe. Orlando has a team now. Which one do you think is more recent? 14 seconds. Just go with the gut. Orlando, final answer. Other side, 15 seconds. Can you, where did they start? Tulsa? Detroit Shock moved to Tulsa in 2010, and they're in what current NBA city in 2016? It's an NBA city. So is it Oklahoma City? Did they just move a little bit? Five. That's a good guess. Four. That's a good guess. Okay, see. Three. Incorrect. The Dallas Wings. That's Ooh, the Dallas I Wings. Oh, Dallas. I'm right here. I should know that. <laughs> yeah, actually, you should have just thrown it. I mean, there could literally be a billboard outside your hotel for I am pretty jealous you got Vegas because it was... Because you're just guessing Ve the, well, the Vegas has been expanding in, in every right. sport. Yep. Vegas One has been expanding in every sport. Celebrity mashup is the next category. Okay. You're going to name two celebrities. You're going to see in a photo. Name the two celebrities you see in this photo. 35 seconds once you see the photo. Name the two celebs. Do you know the... Uh, I, know I think I, I got, got the this. outside. I know well, this. All right, what's the outside? Clint Eastwood? I think it's Clint Eastwood and Matt LeBlanc. I don't know if that was like a trying to get me to just say it, fuck, or... He heard you, that. What do you I think? Like, I, I like that goalie. Clint Eastwood, Matt LeBlanc, final answer. Yeah. That is correct, Clint Eastwood, Matt LeBlanc. Your <laughs> celebrity match. Matt LeBlanc, Down 2 I could just see you. Was like, Very <laughs> early. Name the two celebrities in this photo. Um, okay, so I got it's, one. it's I got the, I got Martin the Sheen and... Oh, it's... Uh, what's his name? What do you think? Bitch. Of? Bitch from, uh... From what? From Breaking Bad. <laughs> the Breaking Bad guy. Aaron Paul. Yeah, Aaron Paul and uh, Martin Sheen. That is correct. I mean, Martin Sheen's a legend, but I did think Aaron Paul was, like, going to be the immediate one. There. Yeah, me too. You know, and I, I, thought, I, 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 thought, I thought it was a guy from King of Queens. <laughs> Kevin James. Kevin James. No, the other guy. His, like, his other fat friend. His, like, cousin or oh, His something. brother oh, Gary in real Valentine. life. Gary yeah. Valentine, yeah. yeah. That's uh, his brother in real life. Or cousin in real life. Yeah, they're related. Two, two to one. Kevin Celebrity mashups. You both get it. NBA is the next category. Anyone want to double? Let's go. I don't want to Let's, go. Anymore. Let's go. Change that rule for the next tournament. I have to double the NBA? No. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. Yes, you must <laughs> double the NBA. <laughs> I was like, what rule? Here it is. You're going to see a career path. Name this NBA player from 1999-2013 based on career path. Clippers, Heat, Lakers, Mavs, Clippers. 99-2013. Louder, louder. Don't give away their answers if they say something. Don't pull a hammock extensive. I, well, it's the most unreal thing to happen this tournament. No, oh Deacon Frost was the most unreal thing to happen in this This? No, that's not right. Oh, fuck. Oh. Well, 10 seconds. Shot score in the beginning? He didn't play. Five, no, four, guessing. three, two, one. Corey McGetty. Who do you think it is? I don't know this. Oh, is, no, it, it is it Quentin Richardson? Ooh, Quentin it. Richardson, like final answer? I like that. Final answer? Yeah. He played for your next. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's right, he did. Oh, I almost, oh. How did we think of him? You thought of him? Of course I did. I just thought we, he played for the By the way, we teams. wrote this match like 20 minutes ago, and Brandon did the NBA, did a great job. But he's like, 
every one of these players played for the fucking Knicks or the Celtics, and it is true. They just right. all are. Right. I, I just so yeah. happy you on the Knicks. Yeah. Uh, all right. I thought you Lamar can, played for one other team. I didn't. You can tie it up here 2-2. Yep. You can Come tie on. it up here 2-2. 1999, 2015. Based on career path, who's this player? Phoenix, Miami, Toronto, Cleveland. 30 seconds. Trust that it's that, but I think I know it. it's not Jason Kidd. No, it's not. Because he played for the Knicks. <laughs> That's there you go. Um, all right, I think seconds. I know. Do you want me to just go final answer? Guys? Sean Marion, final answer? You're tied up two to two, Sean Marion. <laughs> Matrix. Needed fucking tomorrow. Ah, oh, no, man. Music is the next, next category. Miss Lamar Coley. Bad. Music is the next category. Here we go. Music. Name the band. Based in this 2010 instrumental. I am pretty. I feel very good about it. Final answer. I can hear you talk. Edward Sharp, the Magnetic Zero is home. That is correct. Exactly. Go Mincy. Three to two. Let's go Mincy. Three to I two. I never know the music either. Other side. Right. I can picture every commercial. Great. Right. Well, yeah, me too. I could. I, I saw them in New Orleans. Uh, of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, it was right after. They were about eighteen lines. Yeah, you, you, were, yeah. you were in their roadie. The, the, the driver <laughs> coached a lot. He was in the band. All right. Other side. Three to two. Here's your music. You have. A song named the band based on this 2011 band. instrumental. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. You put up with all 12 of these. We had to sing two once. Two words. Just two we words. We had to sing Give once. Don't oh, copyright yeah. strike us for that. <sighs> we got time. Is it artist or band? Band. You know, oh, do you know what song it is? Yeah. I think I'll go to Boston. I think I'll start a new life. 20 seconds. Down three to two. Mm. Fuck. You don't want to do a phone, right? No. Augustana, final answer? Yes! Augustana. That yes! is correct, Augustana. My yes! God. How did you fucking get I that? I just got started thinking. Dude, I could not <laughs> think of it. I gotta start I've been, doing I've that. been saving that song for the right amount of Boston people in here. <laughs> Nailed it. I don't know if a song called Boston was unfair. There's like enough Boston people I've here to... never heard that song in my life. Oh, wow. What? Okay, niche no category time. I bet you, you, if you heard it, you would be like, yeah, I've I did it just hear it. Three to no, three. Like, with the words. Riggs. Three to three. Niche oh. category. College basketball is what the misfits are going with. Double it. They're gonna double it up. Right, oh, wait, wait. Nope, I trust Hank, honk. All right. Okay, you're gonna double. This is not for you though, this okay, is for okay. the honkers. In the 2009 NCAA tournament, San Diego won their first ever NCAA tournament game, beating a four seed located east of the Mississippi. That school is located east of the Mississippi. What school was it? San Diego's first ever tournament win, 13 over four. What first year? ever? Oh, wait, nine. What year? Oh, nine. Oh, nine. Oh, nine. Coast school it's not our question. It's not our question. No, I'm asking yeah. what he said. No, yeah, yeah. He said east of the Mississippi. Is what I, do, I do have a phone, a friend who would probably know this if mm -hmm. you guys want to do I'm, it. I'm, I'm for it. All right. I, I, cool I, I definitely don't know. You calling me? Who do I... Um, do I have to FaceTime? Or yeah, you I do have to FaceTime. Okay. You want? I like a shoot on this one. It's good. Who are you calling? My pal from high school who works at ESPN. And I told him I was going to call him. There we go. Gus. What's going on, Coley? I think this is like a Malik Pope era San Diego State question. Who did they? It was their first tournament no, win San ever. San Diego. Oh, San Diego. San Diego won their first ever NCAA tournament game beating four seed east of the Mississippi, 09. UConn? Yeah. yeah, they were a four seed in 09? That's a, too specific. I remember the game. We'll go UConn, final answer, Jeff. AJ Price towards ACL for oh, UConn and lost to San Diego. Go. That's that's correct. Let's go. That's big. One clap. That was big. I right talked there. to you. Can you do that, Reeves? 
I'll talk to you later. Okay. About All right, this yeah, is for two. Four to three. This is for two. I actually fucking knew that. One. College basketball niche category. I knew someone over 2016 there. 2016 NCAA tournament. Hawaii won their first ever tournament game. They were a four seed and they beat a team west of the Mississippi. Cal, Berkeley, Jalen Brown, final answer. <laughs> I, know. Yeah, I thought you were about to break out into a fucking song. <laughs> Jalen Brown correct. Five 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 to four. Let's not say like he lost them that game. Five to four. Other side. Is it Bob Fox time? Oh, Bob, you trying? Yeah, I, I think we got to stick with what's worked for us in the tournament, right? Yep, we're double. Okay, if here it, it is. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. For two points, UFC, round six. Jan Blokowicz's last loss in the UFC came in February 2019 to what fighter? I definitely mispronounced that, but that's okay. Do you have a phone a friend for this? Mm -hmm. No. I do too. We don't. We can't wait to steal it. No, no, no. No, no, but I mean for ours. For ours. Yeah, yeah. 25 seconds. Yeah. Do you uh, have somebody? Jack Max. No, 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 no. Jack Max? <laughs> okay. Shit. What division is he, Bob? He's light heavyweight. I have a name in my head, but I don't know if it's right. Throw out a seconds. few. Throw out a few names. Definitely don't throw out a few. Go with your gut. That your gut's got us this far. Five. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Glover Teixeira. Final answer. Yeah. It's okay, Bob. Incorrect. Can, can you name one light heavyweight person? <laughs> <laughs> throw out a name. Can you repeat the question? Is that a pass? Jan Blokowicz last loss in the UFC came in February 2019 to what fighter? Usman. Correct, Tiago Santos. Tiago Santos is the Fuck. correct answer. It's okay, Bob. Uh, Bob, you, you, you get it, man. So we want to use our phone yeah. friend on. You've that was five our next, to four. Oh, that was okay. our next yeah, we'll guess. Take a big lead <laughs> sure, here. Take sure. a two-point lead. Clearly. In 2017, Dustin Poirier received a no contest after he was downed, and what fighter landed illegal knees to his head? Jack Mack. Yeah. <laughs> Phoning Jack Mack. Certainly not Jack Mack. Jack Mack. <laughs> They're going to phone Jack Mack. Can we just, like, spear him when he's coming in the yeah. door? See he's still here. Say enough nice for this guy, guy. Back here. Can we bring him in? Yeah, he's coming back. Yeah, all we, it's, a, it's a tradition in Honkers matches for Jack Mack to come in for the other team. Yeah, just or, get this one. Like three on four. You can hurl something at him if you really want. He's sick. He definitely knows this, too. He knocked oh. out my mind. Yeah, oh. I think he does. Oh. He's oh. All right. Hey, we need you. Imagine if he didn't answer. That would have been, been. He's done it before. I should have paid him before not to answer. I should have thought of that. It's okay. He's a man I, of integrity. I, there he is. We need you. All right. In 2017, Dustin Poirier received a no contest after he was downed, and what fighter landed illegal knees to his head? You do the song and dance game you usually do. <laughs> All right, I need you to apologize for all the Scoop City slam. I apologize for all the <laughs> oh, that's not yep, There it is. Jack Mac is we the, trust Scoop City. Jack Mac is the mayor of Scoop City. What if he just City. didn't get it right after that? It's insane. It's, no, he it's definitely Eddie does. Alvarez. Final answer? Sure. Yeah. That's Eddie Alvarez. Six I stand with Jack Mac. Matty. Oh, whoa, whoa. Almost lost the desk. Almost lost the desk. <laughs> I'll swallow my pride for this team. Six to four. <laughs> yeah, he did. Six to four. Dim the lights. Oh. It is bonus round time here oh, in the championship ball. match. Step on the throat. Time to make the donuts. It's the bonus round time here in the Dozen Trivia Tournament Championship match. Six to four, Misfits leading, looking for that Cinderella finish. The world is the theme. We are. Uh, you have 10 seconds. Whenever you see the question, you'll have 10 seconds to give me an answer. The team with the most at the end of five rounds wins. This could be a four point lead for the Misfits or a tied ball game. Or a tied up ball game. You'll see the question, I'll read it, and once I read it, Big Scream and Honkers, you will be on the clock. Name the 27 most populous countries and constituent countries in the world that start with the letter S. Spain. Spain. Sweden. Sweden. Let, let him go. Scotland. Slovenia. Slovakia is one, right, Bob? Slovakia. Yeah. What do you got? Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone? <laughs> Senegal. Country, Senegal. South Africa. Four. That's a pretty big one. That's a, that's no, it's sure not. <laughs> that's not a continent, but you don't lose points Crazy. for that. You're allowed to whisper that one. Other side. Oh, that's I got one. Let's hear it, Bob. South Korea. South Korea. Need this. Of course, oh, double overtime. Five, four, San Martino. Three. 
Unless that's... that's points. There's one like that because they suck at soccer. They lose every game like 13 nothing. That might not be you like... meant San Marino. Ooh. Did you mean San Marino? Yeah. What did I say? I said San, San Martino. Martino. I threw a T in there. Yeah. That's incorrect. That's Tied up. That was really yes. confused for a second. That was like when I missed the Todd Bowman. I was like, oh my God. God. I was like that all over again. We stuck in a new country there at the last Dude, second. Geez. We're tied up 6-6 six six after the bonus round. New life for the Hawkers. Six Hawkers. questions remaining in the championship yeah. match. Good point, Are we Bob. seeing some of the other ones? What did we miss? Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah. Oh, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Yeah, you mean San Marino. They lose. They lose. They lose Sri Lanka. Switzerland. 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 I threw a team. I threw a team. Yeah, you, you said San Martino. Yeah. My brain was stuck I said San Martino. Like San. I was thinking South everything. Yeah. Once you said South Africa, I was just all over. All right. Six to six. Getting tense. You can feel it. So tense, we cracked open a high noon 100 calories. Real vodka, real juice, delicious. NFL is the category. Double sip is the only lifeline both teams have left. How about that? NFL, 35 seconds on the clock. This AFC running back, AFC South running back, led the NFL in rushing in 2011. This AFC South running back led the NFL in rushing in 2011. Is that the year Chris Johnson went off? No. I don't, that seems way too obvious. And I think it was a little before that. 30 and seconds. Aaron Foster is an option here with the Houston Texans because that was around when he was going. I know. I don't hate that. Couldn't be, is it a jag? We have a double set. Dante says yeah, he knows I don't want to use it yet. Um, Aaron Foster. I don't think it was, it was the Colts. 15 team. seconds. Colt, Jaguars, Colts, Jaguars, Texans. 10 seconds, Coley. And Titans. Lifeline are answered five, four, three, two. Aaron Foster. Incorrect. Who do you think it is? It's not Edger and James. He was before that. It's got to be Chris Johnson. That's, I think he's before that. It's... Oh, and you need to send me something five. five. We'll go Chris Johnson. It's obvious, though. Yeah, Maurice right. Jones Drew, MJD, ah, Maurice Jones Drew. That was too late That's, for him. Yeah. I, th I, thought I thought he was like, was like, like, like Chris Johnson six was both like 08. Yeah. NFL other side. This NFC East wide receiver led the NFL in receptions in 2013. NFC East receiver led the NFL in receptions in 2013. One idea. I think I know it. Moss? I trust Shit. you. No, that was 08. So we have time. Um, you do. You have 20 seconds to be. I have to be one. Exact. It's not a giant. 11 points currently left on the board. Who do you think? 10. Tied up Jackson. 6 to 6. I don't hate that. Winner take all champions. I don't hate that. Deshaun Jackson, final, final answer. answer. Incorrect, 15 seconds. I think it's the same team. I think it's Jeremy Macklin. I like it. Final answer. <sighs> Pierre Garçon is the correct answer. Oh, Pierre oh, Garçon is the correct answer. No that, chance. He's, that's not real. Pierre Garçon. <laughs> Owen got it, our timer guy. NFL, a wash, nothing. Six to six. Next category is movies. Movies. This is for the honkers. 35 seconds on the clock. Lincoln, Silver Linings, Playbook, and Zero Dark Thirty were all 2012 movies that lost Best Picture to what at the Oscars? What did those three movies lose to? They were nominated. They didn't win. Um, so here's what came to mind first. Didn't uh, James Cameron, like, wasn't it him versus his wife the whole year at the Oscars because she directed Zero Dark Thirty and she won Best Director and maybe did Avatar win fucking Best Picture? I have nothing to add whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I legit forgot. Were you sure that was Zero Dark Thirty? But no, I thought that was the other war movie. That was the Hurt Locker. That was the Hurt Locker. That was the Hurt Locker. We're going with the artist. Other side, fifteen seconds. Is it Avatar? It's the second oh. time I've said the artist. Right exactly. Out there. Avatar, final oh, answer. What? Ooh. Oh, I mean, you didn't I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say the R. Did not say all final amp, but let's I, let's be I, definitive. You do throw out like a question sometimes, so I need an answer right it's now. It's not Avatar. Right. Well, we yeah, you have not anyway. That's Avatar. incorrect. All right, I need final amp to be very definitive. Yeah, you can't just it's not just the thing. Okay. The pianist. <laughs> I mean, no, it's not the pianist. It's Argo. It's Fuck Argo. Argo. I should have done Fuck. six. Oh my god! Yeah. All right, really next cat. Done. Next question. Other side. Movies still six to six. American Sniper, Boyhood, and Whiplash are all 2014 movies that lost Best Picture to what at the Oscars? I have no idea. Round eight, four categories left, eight points after this, but nine on the board, including this question. Still tied up six to six. We were ripping through them. Oh, 
15 seconds. Do you guys have any 10 seconds? seconds. 10. I don't know. Theory of everything. I don't think Five, four, I theory of everything, final answer. Incorrect, 15 seconds, other side. That would have killed me. Bob? Um, I know it's not, it's not, the, it's not the moonlight year, because no. La La Land was 26. Need an answer in say. five, um, four, three, two, Coley, one. The artist again. I don't know. <laughs> Birdman, Birdman, Michael Keaton oh. took on the Oscar. Birdman. Oh. Later than 14. Oh. All right, still I no points. 15. Damn. Next category, snacks and candy. Snacks and okay. candy. It's turned into a rock fight here. Okay. Defense travels. 35 seconds. <laughs> what is missing from the five original flavors of runts in this list? Banana, cherry, orange, lime, and what? Uh, it's green apple. Green apple. Right? right? Is, Am I right on that? No, because they'd have two greens with lime? You're right. They wouldn't have two greens. Uh, I'm going to go... <laughs> grape? Yeah, I'm going to go grape. Final answer. I think he's right that it's green apple. Let's go for it. Green apple. Final answer. Ooh, they have good. two reds. It's strawberry. Ooh, strawberry. They have two uh, reds. If green apple, this table would be flipped. The way, the way that happened, I was like, that might Round be right. Nine. The rock strategy. fight continues. Six to six. If we don't know it. Like, why no one I wants it? a lead. What is missing from the five original flavors of Lifesavers? Lemon, lime, orange, cherry, and what? 35 seconds. Purple. Sherry. You sure? Yeah. I don't think it is. Anymore. It is. It's great. It's dark. It's like dark red. It's purple. I think it's great. Yellow, green, orange, red. 15 seconds. This went from high scoring to nothing real. <gasps> nothing. <laughs> All right, how confident are you in grape? Five, four, three, two. Raspberry, final answer. I love the way you answered that. Um, 15 seconds. I think it's, what do you have, Bob? Watermelon? I think it's pineapple. It's like white. Oh, man. I don't know. I, Coley, if, if five. You think if you think pineapple, white. final answer. They have a lead. Yes. Yes. It's a it's pineapple. Oh, it was, it was way too easy. It's pineapple. Hawkers in the three. lead. Huge. Huge. Six points remaining. Three rounds left. Championship match presented by High Noon. That's we move on. That's an unbelievable pull. Never. MLB, MLB for the Honkers, no, 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 MLB. No, no, Name this 2010 MLB team on, based on these three starting pitchers, Kyle Davies, Bruce Chen, and Luke Hochaver. This is the Kansas City Royals. Final answer? Yeah. That is correct, yes. the Royals. <laughs> Other side. Bruce Chen was your... Down eight Royals? to six. No, Luke Hochaver. Okay. Down First eight to six. overall pick. Tennessee guy, I think. Name this 2011 <laughs> MLB team based on these three starting pitchers, Colby Lewis, CJ Wilson, and Alexia Gondo. Mm -hmm. Right now, five points remaining, you're down by two. Five points remaining in the game, down by two. You still have your double sip, 25 seconds. What did Gondo play for? That's the name that I recognize. It's not Pittsburgh, right? 10 seconds on the clock. I don't hate that, actually. Pittsburgh. Pirates, final answer. So Texas, Texas Rangers, Rangers, Rangers yeah. Yeah. final answer. Final answer, Texas they're fight. up by three yeah. with four points remaining. Second half team. All right, four points left. You guys are up three, and you know what that means. If you get this next question correct, you are the champions of the first season of the Dozen Trivia Competition, the winners of the Dozen Trivia Tournament presented by High Noon. Television is the category. This could be anything. Absolutely anything. <laughs> What is the name of this show and what network did it air on? I need both. You will only have 35 seconds by it being two answers. Is it that guy's name? Is it like a name yeah. show? Is one of those? Yeah. I think I have the network. Tell me the network. The CW? Ooh, I was thinking NBC. 15 seconds. I have the name. You both have your double sip. So how does the double sip work on this? You Since it's give, two. You just you give whatever you want to give answer wise. You want to sip, Bob? Wrong, you gotta, yeah, I don't tell you if anything's I don't have, right or I don't have I don't have a name. You need to decide. It's, it's not right. Chuck, right? Is this, We're going to double sip. We're going to say Chuck CW. Then we're going to say Chuck NBC. 
The winners of the Dungeon yes! Trivia yes! Tournament with Big Scream and Hawkers. It's Chuck and Ben. They point speed. I'm literally under a second. Congratulations for Big Scream and Hawkers. Rock is going nuts. Yes! The Hawkers are your champions. Wow. Ben Mids, Coley. Robbie Fox, unbelievable. You guys have won. Thank you to High Noon. We will give out the trophy in the presentation momentarily. Quickly before we go, Misfits, I know you probably won. That was tough. You were doing well for a while there. Kind of fell apart, but this team, I mean, I think you proved. There were a lot of good teams. You guys are a pretty good fucking team. I think we're a favorite for season two. I'll put that out there. We're ready for season two. We're. We'll, we'll refer I was useless. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what a call. Sorry. Now we come Guys, six, six. Cinderella oh, run does like, come to an end. The Honkers sorry, have won. We right back. The dozen trivia. Great match, Turn guys. Like Dude, awesome. That was, that was wow. well done, Jeff. That was, that was, those were so Thank you. Great Great congratulations. Great Man. Man. Dude. Hold the phone, everybody, because it's time for championship match two between the four seed, the big screaming Honkers, and the 12 seed, Team ZD. Why are we here? Well, because yours truly, speaking right now, the narrator, the commissioner, Jeff D'Lo, fucked up the first match of the tournament, and the only thing to do at that point was to throw ZD into another championship match. The trophy, back up for grabs. The big screaming honkers just won the championship trophy, but now both teams will vie to have it as we end this season and this tournament once and for all. You know how good the Big Screamin' Honkers are. They've been almost untouchable since adding Ben Mintz back in December. And on the other side, still with their 2-10 pre-tournament record, and after all the drama of who would be on the team, Dave Portnoy, now their new captain taking over for Eddie, joins Eddie and Clem taking on Coley, Robbie, and Ben Mintz for a shot at the title. It's the last match of the tournament. The four seed, the big screaming honkers, the 12 seed, Team ZD. The trophy is on the line in the Dozen Trivia Tournament presented by High Noon, and it stars right now. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Eddie? I, I, I'm just, you know. <laughs> Eddie, what? what team here, buddy? What'd you say? Yeah, you worried? You have two team. You have two teammates who clearly don't want to be here. No, oh, they feel true. like you dragged them into the lion's den. That's crazy. This is our oh. fucking championship. We've been waiting for you guys to get here. Is this too long of a day for you, Mints? <laughs> I'm in the, hey, I'm in the office with you, Dave. I'm here. It probably fucking should be on the bayou by now. <laughs> I buy you bail on your for it. Four. I don't know what you're still doing working at eight. It, it's this is <laughs> the final match. The final match of the Dozen Trivia Tournament. This has been a longer, longer episode. You just watched the Big Screaming Honkers. They took down the Misfits. Dante, Riggs, and Hank bounced. Now ZD, the controversy. Amita Brima, shout out to a UConn legend. ZD, uh, everyone knows the controversy from the first match. Uh, they had a match against Uptown Balls, not against their record. It did not count as a loss. And the only logical thing to do at that point was to advance them to the championship uh, on the other side of the bracket. I will note, I will note the big screaming honkers found out about this well after they had already won the week before. And they did not put up a fight. I want to note that. Where I do think most other teams would have put up a large What is thing. the fight? Your whole little tournament wouldn't have counted. We Listen, got, Dave, ooh. the fight is you lost in the wild card game and you got an advancement to the World Series. Oh, you well, bullied well, Jeff into this. This is, now, this is now Vladimir Putin's hockey league. What, We're all just fumbling what, what over you, you to done? make you feel better about your trivia skills. What would you have done? In the in the case that the, the changing play was – this isn't like a missed call. You could have so wrong. I we did a you could have played the experts who you would have played next naturally, and then if you had beat them, played us since that would have been the natural progression. I yeah, know but that the whole thing got thrown into disarray. It's like uh, the pine tar game. You got to replay it from where it is. But since this thing's not live, the whole thing got fucked. It's like, it like when the, the Saints got fucked in the call. They didn't put him into the Super Bowl. Wait, what? When the Saints got fucked on that call years no, ago, the, that's the interference judge, call. Judge, that's like, if you say one plus one is three, I mean, that's this is trivia. These are fact based questions. This I was, actually was correct. It's this is it's it's in a lot of ways Deflategate two point A lot of people are saying, and you're the Colts. What we didn't you cheat. you are what you hate. 
I, the Colts, I was like, the Colts the never cheated. Trivia, and someone asked me what one plus one is. If I answer two, I will be given credit for that. No, it's fine. Consolation prize, Dave. Let's play the game. <laughs> a lot of guys that didn't build a media company talking right now, Dave. A lot of them. <laughs> yeah. There is no, there's no other logic to what happened. It, it, Jeff Delo fucked up, and unless we want to invalidate the whole tournament, this is the only solution. The part I, <laughs> the part I don't want to get lost is Jeff is a Yukon guy. So the fact that it was a Yukon guy that fucked this up does put it on Jeff at the end of the day. Great player, too. Had a very yeah, big game. Way, yeah, he's not a good player. He shouldn't be in the fucking no, NBA. Terrible. Yeah, he's, I don't know how he's in the it, NBA. It, it wasn't a blowout. This was the equivalent of we had the ball with 40 seconds left, up one. We hit a shot. We go up three. Instead, they blow it. They score. We got a foul. It changed the whole game. Hey, Dave, remember when Robbie didn't dress up with the Duncan Awards? <laughs> I do. That's fucked up. Is Mintz even awake? <laughs> Waddle egg. Cole, you should be watching right. the vlog right now. Let's play some trivia. This is a brand, by the way, you can't tell right now. It's a brand new look for season Please two. Come out night. Eddie, uh, you should be on Dave's girlfriend's Instagram right now. <laughs> that was good. Jeez. Eddie, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> what <are> you <laughs> I don't know if, I mean, look, heat on me. That was expected. Eddie's, after this is over with, Eddie. I don't know if Eddie, if you're a ride or die Dave guy, sometimes. Wow. He he knows I'm a no Dave guy. I've, I've established that with him. <laughs> that right there, in the words of Jeff Probst, is back up for grabs. Uh, this is the last match, and it's sponsored by High Noon. Shout out to High Noon. If if you don't know, it's sponsored by High Noon at this point. After watching all these matches, and I don't know, Tropical Pack, Mango, and Passion Fruit. Uh, Twelve rounds of two ever trivia. Twenty four questions. Uh, two niche categories. Last time we have the niche round. The big screaming honkers. Your niche is UFC. ZD, your niche is MTV again. MTV again. Here we go. Nice. Forgot how to do this. 35 seconds on the clock. Some questions will be 65 seconds. I'll let you know beforehand. First category of the night is going to be the NBA. The NBA. This is for the big screaming honkers. 35 seconds are on the clock. You're going to see a court with two college logos. Two. Tell me the team. Yeah, two. Tell me the team. This is from their opening day lineup. This is from their opening day lineup from this year. Thirty-five seconds starting now. All of your NBA. Oh. Twenty seconds. Got a good timer. Went from four to three, and now you got two. You got ten seconds. <sighs> Boy, I'm trying to guess the Wizards because of Westbrook. Yeah, that's five. Washington Wizards. Other side. That was mine too. Uh, for that reason. So it's it's a, um, ten seconds. It's not the Pelicans. Five. Four, Clem, three, Clem, two, Clem. New Orleans Pelicans. Pelicans. All right, careful on that buzzer. I accept that. That is incorrect. The correct answer is the Milwaukee Bucks. Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday. Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, Drew Holiday gets yeah. Other side, zero, zero. I actually going to say Drew Holiday, and then I thought he went to Kansas. What the fuck, Dave? Fuck. Ah. Zero, zero. Oh. Based on college, his name this right. team, opening day lineup. Who's that? Is that is that Oregon on the right? Yeah. Yeah. South um, Oregon guy. Do we have a UCLA guy? Did he start? No. Um, Memphis is Dylan Brooks. Is he? Is he technically a guard? It, uh, he's, yeah. No, he's. Uh, no, he could be. A Cavs. Player. Cavs. And you Kevin have, Love. You have your double sip as well, but five. Yeah, yeah I would go ca- Cavs. I guess. Cleveland Cavaliers going Jeff. Jeff putting his team in the. Ah shit. Ten seconds. I don't think it's right. Uh, huh? Four. I don't know. I just three, three. Uh, give me the give me the Raptors. That was Dylan Brooks, Memphis oh, Grizzlies. That was Dylan Brooks, Memphis Dylan Brooks for sure. Forward. Guard. He started at forward on opening night. He plays guard and forward. The other uh, guy. Did that they start like Melton or some shit opening night. 
Grayson Allen started, yes. Oh. This has been fact-checked through and through. Here we go. Celebrity mashup. ZD proof. For the honkers. 35 seconds. Name the two celebrities here. Daddy. What is that? That's your teammate. Come on. <laughs> um, Jesus. I think I got the outside. The inside is tough. I don't know if I have the inside. I have a guess. Is that Hold Alec on. Baldwin and Russell Crowe? Ten seconds. Yeah, bang it. Final answer. Fifteen seconds. I think it's Alec Baldwin, the guy who looks like me, no? Who's that? Fucking uh, Bradley Cooper? No, no, no. Four, three, I got two, no fucking one, one. Alex Baldwin and uh, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Incorrect. Correct answer. It is a. Uh, it's is an it action Alex? star. It's Gerard Butler. Ah, uh, uh, fuck. Did we get? Did they guessed? Yeah, you got the exact same thing we guessed. Damn it. Uh, other side, zero zero. Here's yours. You gonna blow it up? Oh, that's Damn. what the face from. Uh, Arrested uh, Development. It's the outs. This is Jeff's pinned tweet. I don't. Twenty seconds. Uh, Arnett, Will Arnett, and uh, Steve outside. Martin? Oh, the uh, the C CNN guy. No, Wolf Blitzer. Well, no, no. Uh, Cooper Anderson. Anderson Cooper. Yeah, but he doesn't have that hair. No, he's got. All right. Hair. Need an answer, Clem in five. Here we go, with Steve Martin. Four, three. Steve Clem. Martin, Will Arnett. That oh, is CD's on the board. Let's go, boys. We need to talk through it, boys. <laughs> My good job. College basketball, next category. Does anyone want to double use anything here? Okay, here we go. 35 seconds on the clock for the big screaming honkers down 1 0. This school lost a double-digit seeds in five straight tournament appearances, 2008, 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013. Jesus. This Good God. And those are obviously the seeds they lost to. <sighs> Need an answer in. Five, goalie. Three, maybe. two. Give me Duke, final answer. Is it? It's I'm not first some, round. I'm just telling Michigan State or Mizzou. I don't. No. Mizzou, Mizzou's not crazy. Who Five, four, three. Villanova. They went two. through horrible Clem, Villanova, 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 final answer. Incorrect. It's Georgetown. Georgetown okay. Hoyas. Georgetown Hoyas. Oh, they lost 2013. 2013. They lost the Florida Gulf Coast. Is Other team. side, 1 0 for one 15. point. This two seed lost 86 84 as a 21 and a half point favorite in the 2012 tournament, seeing a shot at the buzzer and the biggest point spread upset since 1985. This two seed lost 86 as 20 in the 2000. Is that the Missouri one? Is that Syracuse, Vermont? I don't know. That was earlier. That, that was, was earlier. earlier. Uh, it's a two seed. There's not a lot of them, right? Um, Ten seconds, Clem. Do we want to phone someone? Clem, you got to decide in five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Riggs. We're, fall we're calling Riggs. Yep. All right, they're going to phone a friend. Do I have to FaceTime him? Yes, preferably. I don't think he'd cheat, but yes, you can FaceTime okay. him. Shit. That's the Jeff Nadeau rule. Oh, can we still talk this out? You you have to you are committed to your phone, a friend, because the time did run out. What if you don't pick up? If he doesn't pick up, we'll then have to just answer. Yeah, you have ten seconds after the call ends if he doesn't pick up. <laughs> Rigsy, you're on the dozen right now, my friend. Okay, but uh, I'm only seeing like the corner of your screen. Okay, this is probably read it to him. This Please. two seed lost eighty six eighty four. As a 21 and a half point favorite in the 2012 tournament, missing a shot at the buzzer and the biggest point spread up since since 85. So 20, 2012 tournament, two seed losing. And they lost at uh, they missed a shot at the buzzer. Two seed losing in 2012? Yeah. 21 and a half point favorite. Big upset. So that would be probably Mrs. Well. Two two seeds lost. It's Missouri and Duke. 
Which one of them lost at a buzzer beater? Four, three, climb, got to hang up, two, they, they lost, one. They shot the last shot. Got to hang oh. up. Ooh. All right. So what do I have to – do I guess now? You have 10 seconds. You have 10 seconds. Talk it out. All right. So what do we think, boys? Missouri? I mean, I said Mizzou. I don't I – don't, I mean. Dave. Yeah, I mean, he was talking Mizzou, but it, you would think Duke would be the bigger favorite, to be honest, if he's yeah. right. Yeah. Right. right. Mizzou, final answer. That is correct. It's Missouri. Got no faith over here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Two nothing. Next category, round four, is music. Music. You're going to hear a song. You're going to tell me the band or the artist. You'll know when you see the question. If it's a band or artist, you'll see the year the song came out. This is for the honkers. 2001 song based on an instrumental. Here it is. Name the band. 20 second clip. This is Weezer Island in the Sun, for sure. Weezer. Final answer? Yeah. On the board, two to one. Other side, music for you guys. 1994 song, 1994 song. <laughs> Soundgarden, right? Black Hole Sun? This is you guys. I don't know. Yeah. Dave, Soundgarden, yeah. final answer. Three to one. That's Here we go, Clam. Lead for ZD. We run into niche category round. MTV is the niche category for ZD. Do you want to double this round? Yeah, right? Well. I think we're, <laughs> I think we're better with the later, the later niche, the later doubles, right? Red right, Eddie? NFL or something like that? I thought you guys, isn't this what you guys are experts at? <laughs> yeah, we could do a climb. Fuck All it. right, fine. Fuck it. Let's roll. Double. Okay, this is not for you, though. This is for the honkers first. From the championship? First one's for the honkers. 35 seconds on the clock. Who was the star of the MTV marriage-based spinoff and fall reality show that aired in 27, 2007 titled Unholy Union? I don't know this. Do you want to phone a friend? Yeah, we might as well. Not like the wave of flavor, right? No, I'm gonna call. Flavor of love. All right. All right. Did you make the call? Who's the call to? Our oh, guy. Riggs, it's the other team. <laughs> uh, who was the star of the MTV marriage-based spinoff that followed the reality show that aired in two se- 2007 titled Unholy Union? Say that again? Who starred in Unholy Union, a uh, marriage-based spinoff show, 2007? On MTV? Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, awesome. Uh, <laughs> or is it one of the... Is it a spinoff of um, like Flavor Flav? Flavor Flav is VH1. Three, okay. two, I gotta one. Got to hang up on Riggs. Big Riggs. He was about to say something too. I have Ten a, seconds. I have a strange guy. Uh, I got nothing. Made neither. Five. Carmen Electra, final answer. Other side. Didn't we have this with Dave Navarro, Carmen Electric? But that was the. I don't That's know what made me morning. think of that. Yeah, That's exactly yeah. what made me think of that. Five. Eddie, you frozen? All right, my my guess was Bam's Unholy Union, Bam Margera. Okay, is that what, what, what are we laughing at? Five. Because that's, that, that's our answer. Bam, Bam Margera. 
definitely right. That is yeah. correct. Okay. Bam Margera, other side. We're two points up four to one. That was terrifying. Did you know that, Eddie? Did you know that yes. Who was the creator and lead host of the 2006-2007 MTV show titled Yo Mama? Fuck. For two points. <sighs> These dating shows are tough, dude. I think it's a dating show. I don't remember this in the least. Uh, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. You know, 607. Who's a, uh, uh, Clem, five. Who's a Celtics four, girl? I don't know. Three, Clem, two. Bill Bellamy. Got no fucking clue. I don't know who the Celtics are. Other side. I remember the show vividly. It was terrible. What was it I like? Two, terrible. But I genuinely can't. Um, five. Four, is it like someone from Wild Now three. somehow? Now I was going to say Cannon. Correct answer is Wilmer Valderrama. Wilmer oh, Valderrama. Oh, yeah. Not a dating oh, show. Oh, Eddie, no, Eddie, you don't remember a dating show at all. I actually don't remember your mama. No, I thought it was a dating right. show. Okay, I missed the niche. That. One yeah, point there, Stolen. Damn it. Four to one. Going with the two. Four to one. UFC is the next category. Will you double Honkers? Let's try it. Okay, here it is. Doubled up. Down four to one. 35 seconds. Since a 2018 loss to Derek Lewis, this fighter has five straight knockouts or TKOs against Curtis Blades, Junior Dos Santos, and three others. I believe that is Francis Ngannou. Coley, is that what you're going with? You think I'm going to question Bob? <laughs> Why well, do an easier question for Bob? That is correct. That guy the champion fucking champ. Yeah. He is heavyweight champ. See, I, I mean, want to call Dana White here. I wanted to save the. That's uh, why it's a niche. <laughs> Other side, yeah, our niece is a random ass. You don't go with the heavyweight champ in the world. Doesn't this guy wear barstool gear? He oh, no. oh, that's yeah. Kamar Usman. Yeah. Is he at your house yeah. right now, Bob? Is Nagano at your house? Also, also, Clem and Eddie, do not deflect off what's happening. You fucking picked MTV. You missed Yo Mama. I'm not listening to that shit. You two should take the Jeff's blame. Not on listening that. To Yo that Mama. Shit. Yeah, that you missed a very popular MTV show. Okay, other side, down four to, or up four to three. Very One popular point. MTV show. No. This fighter had an eventful 2020 going 3-0-1, ending the campaign with a win over Alex Perez and draw with Brandon Moreno. You know this, Eddie. Come on. <sighs> Fuck. I don't No, you can picture it. You watch this fight. <laughs> I had a better chance at that one than this one. Just follow <laughs> eventful 2020. I don't mean that. Going 3-0-1. All right. I do. Ten seconds. They have too many of these fucking fights. I mean, Bob only got Five, two names. You got every four, guy he fought here. Three, two, Clem. Francis Nagano. <laughs> <laughs> Tie this shit, Bob. Davis and Figueredo. That's right. Final answer? Yeah. Yeah, give us the thing. That is correct. Four to four. Eddie. What happened? What's wrong? <laughs> you know, I don't want to get to the game on that, Eddie, but that's on you. He's a champ. I it, gave you a champ, too. Don't let it seep in, Eddie. What's seeping? You know. Uh, Eddie, you're seeping all oh, over the place. It's disgusting. Oh. I'm co- I'm co- we got confidence. We got confidence. All right, it's time for the bonus round. Time to make the donuts. All right, the bonus round. This is, first off, where we got tripped up in match one. This bonus round, a little complex. A lot of options, though. A lot of potential answers. Sports losers is the theme. Winner gets two points. At the end of 10 seconds, whatever Coley says is your answer for ZD. At the end of 10 seconds, Clem, whatever you say is the answer, Clem, you got to get it in the buzzer. Here's the answer. There's going to be six answers in every sports. There will be seven for the NFL. That's how we made it even. Name the last six different MLB, NBA, NFL, NHL, college football teams to lose in the semifinal round of their respective playoffs. So different. So if there's one that was the same in back-to-back years, you skip over that one and go to the next different one. What? Right. I got one. Are you ready? No, I don't even understand what we're talking about. <laughs> Just the last six different Purple. teams to lose the semifinal yeah, round of their playoffs. Too. Semifinal. Go ahead, Coley. Okay. Coley, timer starts now. <clears> the <throat> Boston Celtics. 
Clemson. Clemson Tigers. I, I, I got one. I got one for sure. Oklahoma when they lost to LSU in 2019. Oklahoma. They lose every year in the semifinal. Notre Dame was this year, right? Four. Yes. Notre, Notre Dame. I, I got another one here when Ohio Ohio State got beat by Trevor Lawrence in that comeback, that long run before the LSU. Where they lost Ohio to State. Ohio State. Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills. Green, Green Bay Stark. Packers lost to Tampa and Brady this year. Packers. Five clans. Titans. 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 Tennessee Titans. Kansas uh, City. Chiefs. 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 Well, the tie to send overtime. Was this well, the Jags uh, here? Jags here? No. Five. Four Clem, three Clem. Jacksonville Jaguars. What? I got, I, I got it, guys. That's right. All right, oh, hang on one second. Going, I have to reset. All right, ten seconds. Can't Over forget time. being oh, a at Saints game. Saints. There were yeah, Saints. No Rams Rams. Yankees. Yankees. Yep. I got one. <sighs> Houston Astros. Good. Uh, Who do the Rays uh, beat? Rockets, Five, right? four, three, Clem, two, Clem, Rockets. one, Clem. Rockets. What? 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 Timer says he did say Rockets. That is correct. They're alive. Who, who, who did the Dodgers beat in the NLCS last year? I don't know. The Lakers beat the Nuggets, right? Oh no, the tra- Portland Trailblazers. Who did the? Is the Dodgers in there? I feel like the Bruins are probably Four, having a problem. Three, three Dodgers, Dodgers. Two. That is incorrect. The Dodgers I got a random college football one left for us, guys. I think that's you won. Okay, we won. Was I say it anyway? Den- All right, Denver was good. I think the Bruins were in there too. Minnesota. Oh, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Dodgers always lost in the World 17, Series. 17, I was on that college football. Six to four, Honker. <sighs> Fuck. A lot of rounds left. A lot of games left. I will note, you did you did accuse Dave of like looking over at something on his wall. He did look over at something on his wall. Oh, wow. <laughs> wall? He's going to... Uh, Team oh, yeah. so many answers. Well, look at all those answers. Yeah, well, he looked over there. I don't know why <laughs> he was looking over there. He he did look I'm, over there. I'm trying to think. Right before the Yankees answer. No, you can look around. No, we cleared him. We cleared him. Look, <laughs> there we go. College football. This is for the honkers. Honkers, you have your double sip. That's it. Other side of your double sip. What? In 2017, two running backs from schools that are based in California rushed for over 2,000 yards in the season. Name them. 65 seconds. It's a two-answer question. Hmm. I, I think I know I know one of them. All right. We'll hold it while we think of the other one. Okay. 2017. I, I, I think I got it. I think I got this. All right. Let's hear it. Who do you have? Bryce Love of Stanford and Rashad Penny of uh, San Diego State. Okay, before we do that, it wasn't like Royce Freeman. It wasn't. Uh, it's not, that's, well, Freeman was from Oregon. That's not California. Oh, good. Yeah, I was thinking Pac-12. Good call. All right, so you said Rashad Penny and, and Bryce Love. Bryce okay. Love, final answer. That is correct. Shit, Seven to four. <laughs> wow, big one for Mincy. Second half Mints. Yeah. Other side. College football. In 2014, three Big Ten players led the nation in rushing yards. Ezekiel Elliott and what other two running backs from the conference? You get 65 as well. It's got to be a Penn State guy. I My years are all fucked up. Who was before Saquon? Michigan State. When did the guy who went to Pittsburgh, when did he come out? The guy who went to um, 
No. I'm not talking shady. Who? You're not talking shady, right? No. The guy, he was on Pittsburgh, and he sat out, and he went to the Jets. Oh, Connor. Oh, no, no, Bell. Love no. Bell. No, 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 no. Bell. Jesus. Yeah, so <laughs> Bell. <laughs> Levant, that's what I was saying. 15 one. seconds. You knew the fucking last one, of course. 10 seconds. Fuck, I'm trying to think. Teams. Minnesota. I'm Climb on your answer in five. Iowa. Hold on, Mincy. Hold on. Three, Mincy. Up there, two, two Clem. Levy on Bell. Or nothing. 35 Over. seconds for steal. I, I think it's Le'Veon Bell and Melvin Gordon of Wisconsin. You think Bell was still – yeah, I guess that tracks. Le'Veon Bell and Melvin Gordon, final answer. I don't think oh. Melvin Gordon is one. Tevin Coleman is the other. Uh, Tevin Coleman is the other. Uh, Indiana. Over 2,000 yards. Funny how they get the easier questions. <laughs> As, as this airs, I'm going to get blown up being like you gave Dave the Big Ten. So it'll all even out. Look, I'm, <laughs> I'm the fucking Goodell of this. It's been accepted already. Uh, here we go. Next category is movies. You'll have 65 seconds on the clock. You're going to see three movie posters from a different actor or actor. You're going to name all three movies. you got 65 seconds. It's for the honkers. 65 seconds. Name these three Jennifer Aniston movies. Okay. I've got... I got one, obviously. I think I, I think I have two. I don't have three. All right, let's talk it out. One is We're the Millers. Correct. Two is the breakup. The breakup. Yeah. And three is Along Came Polly. Okay, I've not seen that one. Let's go with it. Final answer. Fuck. <laughs> that is correct. Sorry, fellas. <sighs> Fuck. Four. Other side. Tom Hanks. In these three Tom Hanks movies. Can't wait to hear how Tom Hanks isn't a big enough actor. All these movies equal out to about the same dollar budget of our, how much they made in the box office. Of course. I, you have three, I know three. Do you guys know one and two? I I, I have no I don't even think two is a fucking movie that made to the big screen. <laughs> yeah, they love, they love to bury Tom you know Hanks. That movie is on the big screen? Oh. Tom Hanks straight, no. straight to DVD. Yeah, I can't. I can't devote it. That's absolutely a movie. What does it? Was it in the movie theaters? Yes, I can't. I can't divulge any more information. That's all I can say. For now. <laughs> I like movie. things, and I like Russian movies, and I have no idea what that is. What's that I first? Would one? Like it? Some, what this is a person? shot too. This is a shot at me. This poster. Yeah, it's red. It is. I didn't realize it doesn't really, really have a movie. You and I gave red you a red Ed poster. I knew the last ten one. seconds. Both questions. Um, Five. I mean, this first movie won won Best Picture. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Woodward and Bernstein, Rocky Four. Fucking You've got mail. Seattle. One hour. Other side. The post is that Bridge of Spies. Is that the name of that movie? Yeah. And I don't know the third. Is that one Harry Met Sally? Sounds like a long came Polly. Let's go with it. Okay, The Post, Bridge of Spies, When Harry Met Sally. Harry Met Sally, Tom Hanks. That was a crazy round. Is that You've Got Mail? It's The Post, Bridge of Spies, and You've Got Mail. One of them them said, uh, what's it called, under their breath, and I couldn't tell if it was You've Got Mail. That is the Watergate movie, Clem. You were right on that. And then the next movie, you joked Rocky IV. That's the movie that beat out Sylvester Stallone for Best Supporting Actor. So. All right, eight to four. Is he good? I can't four yeah. rounds left. Up, you've got mail. Four rounds and eight points left. So there's Is still Dave Chappelle and you've got mail? Dave Chappelle. I think he pops up. The next know. category is baseball. Major League Baseball. White Sox Dave's favorite category. Major League Baseball. This is for the honkers. 35 seconds on the clock. Name the MLB position player based on their career path from these years. Anaheim, Arizona, Toronto, St. Louis, Atlanta. I mean, I don't. I, I just know he played for Anaheim and the Cardinals. David Eckstein comes to mind, but I, I don't know about the other teams. Ten seconds. Five, yeah. Coley. Four, four. David Eckstein. Three. That's fucking right. Oh. It's not right. Fifteen <laughs> seconds for the steal. Down eight four. Ah, uh, 
Next time was in, I think. We need this. Anaheim, Arizona. It's be big, Clem. <laughs> Five. Luis Gonzalez. Three, Luis Gonzalez was what I was thinking. Scott Spezio. I had to take Luis Gonzalez. Buzzy. That is Troy Gloss. That's oh, Troy Gloss. Oh, Troy, Troy Gloss. Troy Gloss. That mother. Get on that. Other side, down eight to four. You didn't lose any ground there. Let's get this. Same thing. White Sox, Brewers, Rangers, Astros, Marlins, 99 through 2012. Went from the Sox to the Brewers. Given the Chicago guy, Chicago question. Want that on note. Also, there's the fact there's a Cubs, Red Sox, Yankees fan, and Mets fan on here is just that's like the hardest thing to do. Can we concentrate or what? He's gonna talk through it. No, that's why I'm I'm talking specifically so you can't concentrate. I gave you the host, shouldn't it? The host shouldn't (laughs) take every answer. More than fair. I gave you extra time. Five four. Oh yeah. Mental bullying. Oh, Big white guy who played first base. Don't. Other side, 15 seconds. Uh, isn't it Maglio? I have no idea. Did Maglio not go? Five. Miami in 25. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with Maglio Adonias. Go with your gut. That's Carlos Lee. Carlos oh, Lee. Oh, Carlos. El Caballo. Those were tough. Those were tough. They were good, but they were tough. He killed the Cubs. I should have known. All right. Down four, six points still. Big television. Honk, Carlos Lee. Fuck us. Television. Television. For the Honkers, 35 seconds. What is the name of the game show hosted by Chris Hardwick and executive produced by LeBron James on NBC? Debuted in 2016. On NBC? Did it uh, did at midnight debut on NBC? No. That's not a game. Was that a game show? Eh, not really. Kind of. They gave points. Yeah, it's kind of. It's the only one I could possibly think of, but they probably snagged him for something like right when that Five, came out. Four, three, two. At midnight. Other side, 15 seconds. Clem, I feel like you got it. You look like oh, you had no, it. No, yeah. I, I was waiting for David to be like, I fucking hate this show because of LeBron. I, well, you, I, well, did, I know it. For your theatrics, I thought you had it. Clem saw LeBron and was like, Dave. I didn't even read the question because you did that whole theatrics. Game thing. night. Game night. Is that a thing? Game night. The wall. The wall. The fuck oh, is the wall? Yeah, I Clem, also LeBron, LeBron doing a wall. I was doing theatrics. I don't even know what I was doing. You just said Clem. That's my column. What is the name of the game chosen by Ellen DeGeneres on NBC? Debuted in 2017. Oh, that's the one where you're – that's the wrong answer. You're off. That is the wrong answer. You've been kicked off. You, the weakest link? The yeah. weakest link? Is no, she on weakest really? link? Well, no. I don't know. It looked like her. The girl, No, that was the lady from Best of Just because it looks like her doesn't mean it is. Oh, Eric, excuse me, Eddie. Nope. <laughs> Come on. We can- are we have nothing? Weakest link? Good. Weakest fucking link. We're fucking the weakest link. I don't know how we made it to the championship. <laughs> the guy on the bottom. That's why you're in the championship. <laughs> Other side. If you get this, you win. Is this Remember? like Hollywood game night? Yes. Final answer. Close. Game of games. Game of games. Oh. Whatever, dude. <laughs> hey, the guy on the bottom is why we're all here. Show some respect, Coley. Jesus Christ. No doubt. He's going to be on the top in the edit. I'm just letting you know. He's the captain of your team. I, listen, this is patronizing. We're here because Jeff D. Lowe he, fucked up. It's worth Which noting. You know, the captain, my though, Tuesday night on this fucking thing, it's the Celtics are playing. Here we go. Mm. If you get this, honkers, you win. You retain the title. You, now you should change the rules. It should have to be you got to get it and the other team miss it. We should you, change you, that. You, you want the rules of the Putin Hockey League. You get out of the way and I'll score a goal and we'll no, all celebrate you. I want fair and square. No, you want to be Putin. NFL. Should be live. Should be live. From 2000 to 2009, only one Arizona Cardinal player led the NFL in receiving yards. Who is it? 2000 to 2000. Larry Fitzgerald? Yeah, that's I feel like obvious. that's so obvious, though. That Way the, too I, obvious. I feel like that's so obvious that it makes me think it might be Anquan Bolden. Just because, like, Jeff doesn't ask such obvious questions. The only other – I'm not going to I'm not gonna say the other – We person have our double sip. We have our double sip. Oh, yeah. Good call, Bob. Let's Ten seconds. Sip. We're double sipping. First guess. Anquan Bolden. Second guess. 
David Boston. That is correct. And then wow. I into the big screen and Oscar is David from? Boston. Are we just yeah. a double seven home with us? What? Undisputed. That's why they came out with these trophies. Uh, final yeah. comments here from ZD. Dave, will you be back for season two? Are you going to man the ship with ZD? I only will play if this thing's live, and I want the final answer. So, wait, what final yeah. answer? What like? I want to be the, the the main guy at the end of the table in Family Feud. You oh no, the main guy tonight. Fair. Let's redo it. We can, it. we can do it live. This show live looks like. I just shit. got breaking news that I have to deal with that Kirk and Nadu are talking. Oh, <laughs> that is. Oh my God, that's bigger than the title. The, the title has now been up. You might want to call um, the police. Thank you, Team ZD. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We caught off the trophy celebration earlier. Congratulations. Oh. They earned it. I'm not happy with second place. I don't think anybody on ZD is happy with second place. Um, it's the first loser, so we'll be back. I'm glad you're not we're happy with second because you're not in second. Well, we quite clearly are because we're talking right now, you and I. <laughs> This was a consolation game. I don't play consolation games. You just did. No, <laughs> Let's go to the trophy presentation. Good night, everybody. All right. One quick thing, because during the trophy celebration, I don't really get to say what I want to say right now, and you'll see why in a second. But I just want to thank you watching at home, behind your screen, wherever you are, whoever you are. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Dozen. This first season has been awesome. We're only like 25% of the way there, too. This show is nowhere near what I think it can be. We're going to have next season more matches, like live events in bars, restaurants, casinos, wherever. We're going to try to get it where you can see things in person. We're treating this like an eSport almost. And then, yeah, there's going to be an app. There's going to be a way for you to play along, maybe win some money potentially. A little more details on that later. But that's because you supported from the start. So I just want to say thank you. Without you, this show is nothing. Not my show. It's your show. It's our show together. We're going to keep on growing it. And while you watch Robbie Fox right now lift the trophy for the first time, he hasn't gotten to do it yet on Advance the Honkers in the Bracket. I just want to thank a couple people. Trey, who edited all of the matches. The guy's a machine, one of the best editors I've ever seen. The guy's nuts. Crazy stuff he did. Youngstown Bob, all the graphics. Our producer, Robbie Fuqua, first month on the job. And the guy was doing all the social, all the stats, questions, everything. Michelangelo. One more name I want to thank, my guy Ramsey. Doesn't even work here. Glenny Balls went to his wedding, by the way. He's just a fan. He was in one of the first matches of the dozen, actually. He's been writing questions since the beginning. He flew up to New York, helped write for the tournament. Big thanks to him. And again, big thanks to everyone at home because of you. This show, nothing yet, but I think we can get there one day. All right, I'm going to shut the fuck up now. Enjoy the trophy presentation. All right, welcome to the Dozen Trivia Tournament trophy presentation presented by High Noon 100 Calories. Real vodka, real juice. As I said, all tournament delicious. I should probably come up with a different word for next year. I'm with the champions, Robbie Fox on the monitor. Robbie, you, you'll get to bring, bring the trophy home when, when you're back in New York. Coley. I wish I could be there. I'm going to trash this hotel room tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first order of business. There are a lot of people who stayed here. Um... I'm very thankful. I don't know why I'm kind of emotional. Oh, oh, you should be. Oh, you should be. Oh, you should be. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Jeff. You told yourself you wouldn't cry. You told yourself you wouldn't cry. You said I wouldn't cry until the Browns won a Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, but everyone around here and who isn't here, they didn't like need to play. Brandon didn't need to play every week. PFT, Franny to join them, but they did. Every play. team, like Big Cat, you joined. You took it to Chicago. They're not here. They were drunk as shit, yelling at Brandon, and everyone just got really dedicated to it. Uh, and it's it's been really cool to see. Um, so thanks, thanks everyone who's here. Oh. Stay. First up, Coley, yeah. Ben Mintz, Robbie Fox, the big screaming honker. You had some other team members throughout the year. This is your final three uh, that wins it all. But before we give you the big trophy, there is a Nooner's valuable player. And IMOB has that guy, he fucks up all the words and gives out the cars. This guy has no cars. He's got a big merch box by his desk. But he's a lot cooler than that other guy, Dana, present the Nooner's valuable trophy. Nooner's valuable player too. Yeah. Coley Mick the big yeah. Yes. 
I know that. Well, all right. Oh, no. <laughs> Into the real mic. Anything you have to say? I mean, Get now I'm gonna job. fucking cry. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Christ. Yeah, I mean, what a tournament. I can't say anything else, Jeff. What the fuck was that? Are you gonna fucking <clears throat> take home season two now? I mean, I think it would be a terrible look if everyone's boss wasn't smart. So I'm glad I, I'm glad I, I came in here and showed everyone, like, when I tell you how to speak English, like, fucking listen to me. I'm smarter than you. It's that simple. I got the trophy to prove it. Uh, ben Mintz. The South. I mean, I can, you can hear him here. This has been airing for literally uh -oh. three weeks. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I can hear all the people in Shreveport. <laughs> Man, I just want to say thank y'all for having me on this. Team. No, thank y'all for having me on this team. I don't know how I ended up as the third guy on this team after Glennie and Carabas. You can thank Carabas. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Jared. For uh, uh, who did? Yeah. Jared didn't even make it to the playoffs for the yeah. team he left us for. No, but uh, it's a random team. team. I didn't even really know Coley or Fott, Robbie before this, and I got to know these guys. Thank y'all so much for uh, taking me in. And when you you mess with the honk, you get the bomb. That's Coley. right. Hey, he did it. He did it. He did it. Thank you.